If you are a data engineer, analyst or scientist, then you must know SQL to do your job better. But are you not sure how to get started or what SQL is all about? In this video, let's get the concepts right using Lego. Let's go. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. People often refer to it as SQL as well. SQL. SQL is used to communicate to your data. So you can use SQL to create new data, modify existing data or read the data that is available. Normally from a data analysis perspective, we use SQL to primarily just read the data that meets our business requirements or criteria. So in these examples, I'm going to talk about how to use SQL primarily to do the select operations that is reading the data. So here is my data and we're going to write some SQL queries in real life and see the output here. The simplest query is we want to select everything in the data and put it on the output. And the query for that would be select star from data, assuming data is the name of the table. And then the output will contain everything in your data in the way it is. So everything goes to the output side. So that's our first query. Select star simply means get me everything, all the columns. Star stands for all the columns. And from data is where the table name data is mentioned. Now let's just say we're not interested in all the data, but we just want to look at just the yellow colored bricks. So we could say select star from data where brick is equal to color is equal to yellow. So in that case, we would pick up all the yellow bricks and then put them there. So there is the output for select star from data where color is equal to yellow. Of course, some of these other things are also yellow, but we are going to ignore for that minute there. Let's say we are not just looking for yellow, but we want to see yellow or green. So we could write a query that says select star from data where color is equal to yellow or color is equal to green. So that's the output for that would look like this. And there is my data where we have got an or condition in the where clause. So the clause here where is basically when you read up about SQL or learn about it, it's referred to as a clause because we say what we want through select star and then where is a clause that we introduce and then specify the conditions. You could have the conditions that are or or end as well. So for example, instead of this, we could say select star from data where color is green. So that would be all this data. And then we can specify the size as well. And size equal to, for example, two by four. So all the bricks that have two by four structure are selected. So we are saying and, and then we are saying color needs to be green as well as the size needs to be two by four. So all of these are two by four. Another way to write SQL queries is, especially if you have got or condition, let's say you want to look at all the colors where color is green, red, or yellow. You could write a very complex, uh, or condition that will basically have multiple parameters. So brick select star from data where color is yellow or color is green or color is red. And now you can see that the SQL gets quite longer. This kind of SQL becomes tedious to write if you have got one of the you want to see all the data where the product code is one of the 50 codes so this is where there is a special operator that you can use it's the in operator so you can get the same kind of result with a query that says select star from data where color in and then specify all the colors red green yellow or you know anything else for that matter so this is how you can use the where clause in sql to kind of pick and choose the data that you want so far, we are only saying select star, but if these are not bricks and you are getting some specific data points related to the data, like, you know, you want to just see the color of the brick, you want to see the size of the brick or something, you can say select color comma size from data, and then you will be able to see 
just the color and size columns and no other columns of course that is kind of hard to explain with uh, this kind of an example here so i'm just leaving that for your imagination here is a query that shows me all the red bricks so we could think of this as a select star from data where color is equal to red now this data is just haphazardly structured if i want to arrange these bricks by size we could use the order by clause so we can say select star from data where color is red order by size so then what it will do is it will arrange all these bricks by size uh, these bricks are kind of all over the place so it's tricky to kind of arrange them by size but i'm gonna do my best there you go kind of ordered by the size of the brick normally when sql gives you the ordering what it does is it will first finish the rest of the query so you know your where clauses your and or in conditions anything else you specify those will all happen first and then once the final result is generated it will then order the data in the columns that you specify the default ordering would be ascending order but if you don't like this you can also say select star from data where color is brick order by size desc and then what that will do is it will kind of flip this data into descending order so you will get a different ordering of the data many times when you are developing sql queries you may want to have data here that is not meeting some conditions so a not operator is also available in sql wherein we could say select star from data where color is not yellow so what that will do is it will give you all the other bricks except the yellow bricks so there is your not condition where everything except yellow is what we have obtained here you could kind of imagine different combinations of this so for example you could say color not in yellow and green and then what that will do is it will basically give you this output here where you have got everything else except yellow and green and when you get this data you can also apply a sort order of course these are all mixed bricks so sorting them would take forever for me but you can also add an order by clause here another operator or another clause within sql is the group by operation what group bys do is they kind of work like excel pivot tables if you are familiar with those wherein they take your data they group the data into chunks based on a specific quality and then provide you summaries on that so for example we can say select um, count of star from data group by color what that would do is it's hard to kind of see the result here directly but you could imagine the group by operation basically clumping the data or chunking the data by color like this so you could imagine all the bricks of white color are one group all the bricks of blue color one group so once the data is grouped like that then it will count and then provide the results in a tabular format so for example for blue it's going to count up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so for blue it will say 11 likewise whatever is the number for white yellow everything will come up so when you are grouping by you can provide summaries like count minimum maximum sum average etc along with any group by criteria as the parameter so for example you could write a query that says select color comma count star from data group by color so that will tell you for each color how many items are there in a simple table format normally when we use sql to generate some sort of reports or data analysis group by is something that we use in that situation wait 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 we're not done yet there is a sequel to this get it sequel what you have seen so far is just the basics of sql i have got a longer video on sql coming up on the channel in that we are gonna talk deeply about select operations where clause and look at it from real world examples with the sql console so stay tuned for that video in that video i'm also going to talk about joins where we can take different kinds of data and how you can combine them using the join operation i'll see you there bye